Welcome back. We continue with our news review right on Power Breakfast uh, with uh, Senator Beatrice Selachi, uh, MP uh, Richard Onyonka, Joe Mutambu, and also Kiputo Rapkirwa, Deputy Party Leader ANC. Now, we continue discussing party nominations because that's the biggest uh, story this week. And uh, yes. today, ODM, a second governor, a second sitting governor, goes for the party primaries. And there was always this discussion because uh, governors have this two terms uh, limit. Yes. Yeah. But don't you think they should just have been handed direct tickets uh, to avoid all this hula balu uh, by parties that, uh, yes, we know you're only going one more time. If at all you're beaten at the ballot, uh, the main election, that's fine, but at least as a party, we'll give you a direct nomination. Because it, this is where we're seeing a lot of uh, chaos when a governor is involved. But I think balance must be maintained between somebody's popularity and also the interest of the party. Mm -hmm. You see, you might be elected with majority of votes in one election, but by the next election, you have sufficiently declined in terms of support. Mm -hmm. So the party cannot risk just giving you a direct ticket. But in areas where the governor is seen to be very strong, I have no problem whatsoever mm -hmm. in a governor getting a direct ticket. But in areas where there is huge competition, like Kiambu and many other places, allow the people to decide on who is the best candidate for the party and also for the people of that particular mm -hmm. jurisdiction. So really direct nomination should not be a rule. It should be an exception mm -hmm. where we feel there is a strong candidate. Yes. But Onyonka, I'm sure you understand the politics of Nyamira yes. better. Yes. And uh, yes. prospects for uh, Wananyagarama facing uh, Gesami <laughs> and uh, this that candidate within ODM, that as far as ODM party primaries are concerned? That is true. Uh, w one of the things I would like to, to just make a small clarification is that I think political parties need to have a rethink exactly on the point you've raised and even when I, I don't want to contradict my senior here the truth is how do you build loyalty yes. and how do you build stamina for a party in a certain area if for example like in Nyamira you find that Honorable Nyagarama is the one who uh, won the elections on the ODM ticket yes. then you have a member parliament from the same party uh, Dr. Gesami who's actually running against Mr. Nyagarama. Mm -hmm. The truth and the reality you have is that when these two individuals who are extremely strong, who have a history politically, because Nyagarama comes from the history of, of, of the farming community, mm -hmm. tea growers, that's where he built his politics and that's where he built his muscle. That is Governor Nyagarama. Uh, Dr. Gesami has actually been in Yamira and has done quite a lot of uh, development projects within the Yamira count itself mm -hmm. and uh, he has he participated in making you know he used to be the provincial director of medical services mm -hmm. at one time he was a deputy director in Nairobi yes. so he has participated mm -hmm. and uh, made the community value him the problem you have now is that the clan element in Kisi politics has come in yes mm -hmm. and very interestingly Nyagarama and Gesami actually come from the same clan mm -hmm. okay all right and yet, the clan with the largest number of votes is Kitutu Masaba. Mm -hmm. Kitutu Masaba, you know there are five constituencies in, 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 Yamira. in, in Yamira. So the reality you have right now, the, the two gentlemen are going neck on neck uh, on, on, on who's going to be the candidate. Mm -hmm. And as we speak right now, Nyagarama is actually uh, going bananas. If you look at the <laughs> news reports, you, you, you see what is happening on TV. He says all the agents are his enemies. The ballot papers were brought. He doesn't know where they are. The ballot boxes, he can't even determine whether they're supposed to be transparent or not. He doesn't know. And he is uh, the front runner. And Gesami is saying, as far as he's concerned, the party has agreed. In fact, one of Nyagarama's issues is that he does not want the elections to take place using the IBC list. Yes. Nyagarama would want the party, the party list to be used. Uh, Gesami is saying, why are we not using universal suffrage? So that since these are the same people who are going to vote for us anyway, mm -hmm. why don't we allow everybody else to vote for us? And Nyagarama is saying that will lead to interference, even from Jubilee, mm -hmm. to vote for Gesami so that Nyagarama loses. Those are the issues you have right now in your mirror. And unless uh, the ODM party leadership moves in very quickly and, and agrees with these two individuals, you are going to have, have a, a split within yes. ODM, just like you saw in Busia. Mm -hmm. Unless 
the people who voted for Otoma agree that the verdict which will come in terms of the number of votes and the people who voted for him and the fairness of the exercise, the fallout you will not be able yes. to handle. The same thing with Nyamira. If the elections between Nyagarama and Dr. Gesami is not handled cautiously, you will not be able to handle the fallout. In fact, we in NASA might end up losing our votes mm -hmm. depending on how we conduct our primaries. Yes. And that is my fear. Senator, even uh, comparing, uh, just as he has done with the, what happened in Busia, yes. uh, don't you see a reason why ODM should have actually decided to handle some of these contests, probably yes. in the boardroom? Uh, because uh, yeah. Toma is a uh, is a very strong candidate. True. Uh, so is uh, Ojamong. Uh, yes. Definitely there will be a fallout. Something yes. will give. There will be a crack. There. Well, the, the, the most interesting thing is when now you take them back to a nomination and you decide where one has a strong mm -hmm. uh, to be the determining factor because those are the two constituencies that had a challenge. Mm -hmm. But those are the same two constituencies where mm -hmm. that brought in uh, the, the Tarakanidi vote that <laughs> makes you get <laughs> wherever you want to. <laughs> so you can't now uh, subject Otoma. Mm -hmm. Otoma knows very well oh, he dear. cannot get that thing. Mm -hmm. What ODM needed to do, you want to repeat the whole thing? Repeat the process fully mm -hmm. in all the constituencies. Let them just have a primary that is repeated all over. Yes. And now agree. But then the other thing, and that, that is what also Jubilee, I hope, is learning lessons as they move for Friday, that if you have decided as a party, you are going to use your party register. Yes. Mm -hmm then use your part, tell your members, and that's why the problem is in Yamira, that as Jubilee we are using the party that's register right. that Not we presented IBC. Mm -hmm. to IBC, the one that was stamped by IBC. Therefore, if anyone wants to go to court, he has a right to use that register and say, this mm -hmm. register that was approved by IBC mm -hmm. is the register that was the register what, we what about, what about but at the same areas, time, in regions like Yambu, where it is assumed that everyone there is a member of Jubilee Party, uh, that you do not have then, to go with the party list, that you can actually go with the voters' register because that, everyone is, is Jubilee. True, which is true, yes. and therefore the party has to announce. Mm -hmm. Announce to the members we shall have a suffrage, mm. uh, 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 universal, uh, universal suffrage. Uh, yeah. suffrage elections in areas cluster your area. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi you can't have a suffrage yes. because uh, definitely we have uh, our ODM uh, members, mm -hmm. we have uh, our ANC members, so you, you can't have a suffrage. Members of Jubilee who are registered in the register of IEBC and I, I mean for Jubilee but also have the one for IEBC so that you determine whoever is voting for you is of the age of 18 member. and is a voter. Member. Because you can't take now young people to come mm -hmm. and vote for you, and yet they are not registered, they are not voters. So use both, both registers for you to have uh, a quality in what you are doing. Mm -hmm. That way, if anyone goes to court, you are able to say, as a party, we had these two registers. And I'm hoping we are using the register that every party presented to mm -hmm. IABC. Okay. And uh, therefore, anyone who is registering now, cannot be also in that register. Mm -hmm. Yes, people should be told the truth. Okay. Should, because that is where now we will have challenges with, the, uh, the, uh, with the, your, 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 your opponents. Mm -hmm. Where somebody now decides, to, yesterday is when I started now registering members. They need to be told, we presented a register with the timelines, which mm -hmm. are legal. Mm -hmm. That is the register we are using. Okay. So if you have registered people from this date to this date, they might not be in the register. Mm -hmm. What happens to those people so that they don't also turn up in a polling station and start fighting there? Yes. Because those are the things that yes. now can uh, mm. have a shambo. Let's go if you to don't Wana Mutambo and uh, na, na away from uh, the party lists and uh, whether to use IEBC list or the party list, but to the issue of uh, governors and uh, those who are facing party primaries. Uh, do you th don't you think that uh, parties should have actually considered that these governors will only have a uh, two term limits and no, uh, this gets direct combination. <laughs> the question is, uh, what is democracy? Then if we say that, then we are sweeping democracy under the carpet because it is presumed that everybody has a right to, 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 to buy in any seat, mm -hmm. even presidential. Yeah. So if, if we take it now to the level of governors, then we'll come also to the, the issue president. of the presidential. <laughs> and then we'll say, why don't you also have the president sign two terms? So, but uh, that's the, what so is happening. The, the it issue is already assumed like that President no, no. Uru Kenyatta, no one can dare challenge. No, 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 no. no. It's it, 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 been challenged. 
within the parties? Oh, no, party. within the parties. Yes. Yeah. That's no, what I'm saying. Uh, uh, at the party, party. level, uh, governors, uh, and, and we've seen quite a number being given direct party no, tickets. Yes. And yes. of course, they say that they they are unchallenged. But uh, is that really genuine? That they were genuinely unchallenged? Mm. Or no, the no, party no. just decided no, this one get a direct ticket. You see, that that depends with the party, mm -hmm. right? Uh, when you remember uh, during Moy's time. Even Moy, sometimes I remember Paul Gay wanted to, to challenge uh, uh, Moy when they were in Kanu. So uh, when we say that people should not be challenged, then we are killing democracy. Mm -hmm. We should let it free because uh, uh, democracy should be played at all levels, right? Either uh, governor seats or uh, um, MCS, uh, MPs or whatever. Because if you do that, then you will be um, chatting other people out from. But, but you see the and that, and that, that, will, that will not be that will not be fair. That totally that will not be fair. It, Fred, we yeah. have to be fair and we have to play by the rules. Then, 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 then coming we, back, we, I need within, to, to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I need to say something about uh, party nominations. The issue of uh, of timing is also very important, right? The way we do our nominations. It's not, it's not fair to even the participants themselves, to the contestants themselves. The issue of timing is, is very wrong. We are doing it in a very absurd way. That uh, it comes election, then we go, and that is, I think that is where Onyoga was drawing his point. We go to, to nominations. Mm -hmm. Then everybody is running across the nomination and there is no time to do what is supposed to be done in the right way. Yes. Then uh, why don't you consider removing the two-term limit for governors? If at all it's open, then anyone can run. If at all you're uh, that popular, then you can run three, four, five times. After all, you're not getting any free ticket. Well, I, I, I think well, that <laughs> is something fundamental that they thought in the Constitution. Mm. Given the, the position of the governor is like that of the president. You get a lot of resources, and uh, they may deny it, mm -hmm. but when you are in office like that of the governor, you can also leverage, mm -hmm. not directly in terms of corruption, mm -hmm. but you <laughs> attract a certain uh, goodwill mm -hmm. uh, from the public with the expectation that one day you may do them a favor. In the process, you entrench yourself, and therefore let allow people also experience another set of leadership. And mm -hmm. it has happened, like the U.S., We've had so many presidents, around 45 of them now, for the last 200 years. And for every new regime, there is some kind of change, mm -hmm. and there is some freshness that comes into the leadership of the place. For governors, what I would have said, possibly, is to say, we give them 10 years. Mm -hmm. You are elected governor 10 years, then you go. Oh, so, so instead of five years, yeah, so Because at times, five One years term, yes. is a short period, especially yes. when you look at the office of the governor, especially these pioneer governors they are suffering from a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. One is the issue of devolution is supposed to be in three aspects. Decision making, issues of participation by the people, mm -hmm. and also percolating the resources from the national kitty to the ground. And the necessary structures mm -hmm. to make sure that that information uh, seamlessly moves to the ground. Many governors found themselves without any structures. Yes. And for two years they were trying to set up structures. And part of the corruption that you are now seeing in the papers has nothing to do with the governor himself or herself. Of course, there is no lady governor so far. Mm -hmm. But it has to do with lack of systems. Yes. And uh, that is something that we should be thinking as we go forward. Yes. And of it course, what you just mentioned has to do with assets. Uh, I think it's important to mention, I think it's on the uh, standard, yes, page 12 of the standard. Okay. Auditors say that 143 billion shillings uh, for counties, a uh, worth of county property is exposed to misuse. Yeah. Now, uh, I think that's what you're talking about, uh, yeah. because it's mm -hmm. a, a damning report by the defunct Transition Authority, Authority. Yes. its successor, the Intergovernmental Technical Relations Committee and the Office of the Auditor General. The assets taken over by counties include uh, lands, vehicles, uh, but the defunct entities also left behind debts amounting to 62 billion shillings, and that is what the most uh, governors, uh, yeah. pioneer governors, have been struggling with. Yeah, because actually the, the there was no effective handover. Yes, from and, the and, you feel, and you feel if they got counts. more time, they would actually they would uh, have done, yes. and also they should have no, been but systems. But, yes. uh, but no. at the number same two, time, uh, uh, was okay, it? okay, okay. Sorry, at the yeah. same time, I really apologize. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> One of the critical issues that has come up is that we need to put structures in place. Well, I'll use a simple example for you to understand mm -hmm. where we are. By the time we hit the month of June, 
a member of parliament cannot access mm -hmm. the CDF account. Mm -hmm. He cannot even ask his managers to transfer resources to yes. any project. Mm -hmm. We must have structures in place which are controlling the amounts mm. of money mm. which are going to the county government, the responsibility of the governors. For example, salaries should be paid. Uh, the recurrent expenditure on very basic necessities should be paid. And that is known through the, the budget office mm -hmm. and through the Ministry of Finance and the uh, revenue allocation. Th what the auditor is actually saying is that the resources which we have left with the governors as it is now, including those vehicles and everything. Mm -hmm. There should be a, a regulation yeah, which says yeah. the governor's office mm -hmm. cannot use government resources, county government resources. Mm -hmm. The governor should be allowed to maintain using his vehicle, which is okay, and maybe two for his security team. But you can't ha what is going to happen in the elections is that there's a likelihood most of the governors mm -hmm. are going to take over all the vehicles which the county government has actually Mm -hmm. Vote, mm -hmm. and they are going to put those vehicles onto the campaign team of the government. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and these are the challenges that we are facing, and this is where some of us are saying that we need to have a bill legally, which we were late in implementing, yes. but I'm told it is coming. The assumption of office bill. Uh, by yes, yes exactly. exactly. Yes. Yes. So yeah. that we can say how much can the governor access in terms of resources as he's campaigning, and if he wins and loses, when does he then pick, pick up, up and continue mm -hmm. as a governor? Yeah. Because uh, there's but also another the challenge, uh, because uh, some, of this, some of these sitting governors right now may lose at the yeah. Yeah. primary level. Yes. They will lose. And uh, some and of them might decide, uh, okay, fine, I can't go alone. Uh -huh. I can't go as an independent, yes. uh, but I'll still have to remain as governor for the next for the three, next four three months. months. Yes. Yes. What is he going to do from yes. that time until when the yes. new yes. governor comes? Yes. Those yes. are the, the issues. The yes, most Senator. important thing we need to ask now, Treasury, because sometimes it's also good to speak to them this morning, yes. that they also need to put in uh, a sort of a small uh, regulation that says, this, and I think that is why even uh, we, uh, we failed in the budget. Yes. Because that was the question. Mm -hmm. We were asking, fine, we are going mm -hmm. to pass this money. But where are the regulations to ensure you don't use the money to campaign, yes. especially mm -hmm. the local revenue that you are collecting? Yes. Because that is one thing mm -hmm. that uh, Treasury does not have control. Mm -hmm. Nobody has. They are the ones. So they won't bank the local uh, revenue they are going to collect. They are going to put them, use it yeah. for their campaign. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. I agree with Onyonka, yeah. we need it. Yes. Yeah. Onyonka, that we needed to have done a very serious regulation. Yes. On yeah. the and, and, um, but the other thing, yeah, again, okay, okay. we need to check on this, mm. the issue of resources in counties, is that there, there, there is money that already we have released, yes. and there is what we call the assets of land, what the Auditor General mm. is saying. Mm -hmm. As Waziri says, mm. TA never handed mm. over all the assets of counties. Mm -hmm. Now, people have been taking these assets. Yes. So yeah. even the next government, you might come in and find you are in serious debt. Mm -hmm. Governors have never paid suppliers who are now even about to be closed mm -hmm. by banks. Mm -hmm. We have no law that says, contractors. let us get your contractors before you leave office. Yes. The mm -hmm. money we have, Treasury can now pay directly. The contractors, these are Kenyans, we have made them go poor. Yes. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, just to, to support um, my two colleagues, I think the Ministry of Devolution, and uh, the last time I knew is that they were doing a policy, or now and over is going to be done. Because by the rule of the thumb, in Kenya, 50% of uh, elected members of parliament or governors mm -hmm. are likely to lose the next elections, yes. which means about 42 of them will not see their governor's office after elections. What does it mean? It means there is going to be handover. And that handover should be so seamless in terms of the resources, yes. in terms of the projects that are ongoing, because some of the governors may be committing to new projects yes. just for the sake of getting elections. a kickback because for elections. Was it, uh, my understanding is that yes. even the county budgets yes. uh, are worked on uh, before the financial year starts, which is in July. Yes. So a governor and uh, the county assembly will come up with a budget, which yes. is going to be implemented by a different governor. governor. Yes. So what does, uh, does that have any At decision? the same time, you see, wh what, what it means is that for another one and a half years, if you take over in mm -hmm. August as a governor, mm -hmm. one and a half years will be s sorting out the mess of the previous yes. governor. Yes. And therefore, by the time you start now doing projects that have meaning to, the, to your program of action, the next election will be approaching. Mm -hmm. So this is something that is so fundamental that the Minister of Devolution, Minister of Finance, and all government agencies responsible for this transition should actually be alert. Mm -hmm. It is not for either Jubilee or us in NASA. It is a national disaster yes. if we don't take care of it. Do you think that the election date, as currently set, mm -hmm 
in August is a problem in terms of this transition, especially at the county level, given a new financial aid starting, budgets have been worked on by a different team, a new governor is coming in, transition is messed up. Do you but think the election day I don't, But you see, what we should do is to have systems mm. and respect those systems. Because let's assume uh, that a new government takes place in August. We we'll love to respect what has happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, w whatever budgeting whether it works or not you yeah. just have to uh, you have to respect it. because if you have committed yourself to a program and you have signed mm -hmm. because some of them in March in February they were signing very big projects mm -hmm. yeah. billions of shillings projects that may take four years to complete mm -hmm. but they have already committed the resources of the government mm -hmm. so this is something that is so serious and we need to look into this because there is a lot of wastage here yes. we have divorced corruption instead of devolving resources. Yeah, final word on this one, Mutam, before we uh, Yeah, I think the issue is not, not the timing. The issue is the planning. Mm -hmm. yeah. The issue is the planning. Yeah. We did not plan well. Okay? The drafters of the Constitution, they never thought about this. I think that's something which of us kept their, mm -hmm. their thinking. Because w the transitional uh, period and the transitional planning is very important for any country or for any county or for any organization. Okay? And that institutional memory right we, we should have carried out our how are we going to carry out our institutional memory and how are we going to to, to, to proceed forward knowing that the people will lose elections mm -hmm. right and also not forgetting this is a, a, an election and you have to entice your voters by project by giving oh. them oh. And <laughs> this, this, this is what this is what is hurting us this is what is hurting, yes. hurting, hurting the country oh, but another thing also we need to understand that that's why now we have a problem because we do not differentiate between the country Kenya and the counties we, we there's this belief that a, count, a, a county is a government by its own mm -hmm. not forgetting that the county is depending on the national government mm -hmm. yes. so I want to believe this responsibility should be uh, left with the national government mm -hmm. so that if there are issues like now paying the the the, the, the contractors there are people, I'll tell you what, there are people who are still who have committed suicide because yeah. they supply the counties and the counties have not paid mm. them and, and they the don't banks. know what they are going to and do. The banks okay? And the banks and also, yeah. they are on their mm. necks mm. and they will be taken to court. And so there's a, actually a very big problem. I'm overseeing a very big problem in the future. But, and, and but I want to tell they, they, you, teach, the, the, because the, I know we have w the, the, the women, the young people, the disabled, some mm. even who did work mm. uh, during these uh, big conferences that were there. We met them and they are crying. And I want to tell Roti, not been paid. as a government, mm -hmm. you cannot allow your people to be killed just because of us as government, but even that, county that, government, uh, Moshimiwa, that has to, to be within money. the law. That mm -hmm. is true. And, and also the, to have within the law. That is true. In fact, what the two you are choosing are saying, that uh, uh, that uh, yeah. illegal yeah. contracts were done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, what, no, what, what, what no, do you uh, say? What you are saying, suppliers were not paid. Yeah. And, and, they, should and they should be paid. Yeah. Well, and they should be paid. Yeah. Well, well, no, no, no. They have the law. They signed with who? You remember that the same cause? That's the same problem. Doctor's head. They signed with who? No, 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 no. They signed with the county. I refuse to be so low defensive. I refuse to be so low defensive. I refuse to be so low We must have. No, I Excuse me. Okay, gentlemen, let's give it a look. We must have an interface between the county government and the national government and make sure that the way somebody expects, for example, if President Uhuru wins or if the NASA flag bearer is going to win, there is a clear government strategy mm -hmm. which is uh, actually it's in the books, statute books, mm -hmm. on how you will transfer power to yes. this yes. person. Yes. Who, yes. All right? yes. Even yes. if President Uhuru was to continue, yes. there is government regulations and government policy on how this continuity will be there or how the transfer of power is going to be. With the county government, we have no interface. Yes. Yeah. So That's the county governors may decide to, after the election, yeah. somebody <laughs> can decide to yes. actually move in yeah. and swear himself in yeah. and say, let us continue yes. from there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But I want to go back to the suppliers. Let's go to a break. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this issue because we need to take a break right now. We'll return. Even as we discuss about suppliers, we also want to look at this headline, and it's the main headline on uh, the front page of the Standard, why NASA flag bearer uh, talks failed to take off. That one, Public First returns.